Hey everyone, it's Blue Prep, and we're playing more Cube Escape. Today we're playing Harvey's Bucks. And if you remember, Harvey is both the name of the protagonist of Rusty Lake Hotel, but I think more prevalent, like more, uh, not prevalent, uh, relevant to this game, Harvey is the name of Laura Vanderboom's bird. 1969, nice. Where am I going? God, Neg? How do I have an inventory as a bird? Got some duct tape and there's a fish. Yeah, there was our beautiful silhouette as a lovable budgie. Oh dear. It's time to play some dominoes. Best to spread them all out. Alright, we have two options to start. I'm gonna just try this one first. Actually, I'm gonna sort these. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna. S okay, good. This remembers. At least. Because, you know, sometimes these games don't, like, save your progress on the puzzles. Alright. We have more horizontal pieces than vertical. I remember liking the music in this one. It was very, uh, calming. Either of these could be good. Mm -hmm. Four. That can't be this one. Could be... No. Don't like that. Put the two down. Have the four. Nah, it can't be this one. Because that doesn't match well enough. So we'll try this. There's a decent amount of twos this could be. I'm not great at, like, stuff like this. I don't even know what you'd call it. Just, like, I guess I'm bad at puzzles where it makes, where you need to, like, see three moves ahead. That's why I'm not great at chess. Maybe if I played more chess, I'd be better at this, at stuff like this. Tell me in the comments below how you're smarter than me and how you... <laughs> You can just look at this and know immediately what the solution was. Is there a four and a three? There's there's not. That's okay. Just gotta... Okay, so this has to be a vertical. There's a five and a one, so that works. You put this there. No, it has to be a... Conversely, this has to be... Like this. But not this specific one. Could also be this. Hmm. I remember I had a tough time, like when I played these. Because, you know, occasionally I would go and just play these again. Uh, this is one I would have a tough time with. And, like. Oh, yeah, that one doesn't work. <laughs> we'll come back to that, I guess. Ooh, we got a music puzzle. That's always fun. Moving to Rusty Lake Mental and Health, Mental Health and Fishing. So you can you just live there? Got some more tape. Oh, and here's what the tape is. No, that's not the end. Or actually, that could be the end of it, because it's a 4x4, four four, so that's probably just the staff. Oh, and we got a paperclip. That's cool. Not paperclip, a safety pin. Safety pins are fun. Because, uh... Here's a life tip for you. If you ever, like, accidentally put a hoodie in the wash, but you forget to tie the drawstrings together, so it, like... So, like, one of, like, the ends gets, like, stuck in the hoodie. What you can do is, like, just pull the whole thing out. 
and then attach like the safety pin to one end. Oh, match. Tape. And attach the safety pin to one end and you, then you can like pull it through and pull it through the... Like, the, the tunnel. The tunnel for it. And you'll have like a frame of reference to pull on. I don't know. That's a trick my mom taught me. Okay, so it's treble. So it's BB. Yeah, BB. DD. BB. G sharp. A. B. D. B. A. I mean, every occurrence of G is a sharp, so you could probably just put it in the time signature, but okay. I'm not gonna remember that unless I write it down. Gonna just do that real quick. B. B. It'd be re it's gonna be real embarrassing if, I'm, if I uh, get my musical notation wrong. And uh, play the wrong thing. Millennial Model Mayhem's gonna make fun of me because he can read music better than I can. And it'll be like, no, you dummy. Also, no, key sig you can't just put the sharp in the key signature. <laughs> this is what you get for quitting piano lessons after like a few months. Alright. And the fruit there is this. Okay. These are... there. Huh. That was... that was easy. You know, there's stairs in this passion fruit. We're going on a bit of an adventure. Just to go into... what is this place? I need to get out of here. Uh-oh. Back in the box. Not sure why that was necessary. Maybe we did that prematurely. Okay. Now oh, here we are. B B D D B B G sharp A B A G sharp A I did that thing again where I don't read the full thing. Somebody here? Can I? Hi. I'll just leave you be. And uh, go back to the safety of my puzzle here. Which I will probably have to... Do some fun editing to make interesting. I like how it's like, I need to keep these organized, and then did not do that. A dominoes expert. I got some paper interesting. It's stuck. Nothing here. Cross that leg. Arm up. Touch your beak. You need a cigar. Mr. Fish. Mr. Fish has a nice cadence to it. Can't use my, paper, my safety pin to properly poke this for to poke this open. 
Okay, B, B, D, D, B, B. G sharp, A, B, D, B, A, G, A. Okay, we're missing the second to last staff where it goes up. Okay, so B, B, D, D, B, B, G sharp, A, B, D, B, G, A. I did it wrong again. Okay. <laughs> After the B, B, it's the G, A, B, D, B. Okay, it goes back into A. I wrote it down, but I wrote it down wrong. Because, uh... That's how we get the key. Nice. That's what I get for lack of good sight reading, I suppose. Okay, we got a knife with a mysterious redness on that we're not gonna question, a cigar, and another piece of paper. In this paper is every row and column needs to have three bugs and three bra- <laughs> I know they're maggots, but it looks like little baguettes, but never three in a row. Okay. Another spatial puzzle, my favorite. Now we can let our friend in. Unlocked peekaboo. Hi! I hope you're not like the other pigeon in this game. Another music puzzle. That's not cool. Give, uh. Oh, it's a smoked fish. That's, uh. No, you can keep that. It's a little unclear, because I remember having the same problem where, like, the glass won't fill properly, really, so we'll just ignore that. Use the knife to pop open these flies, though. I'm sure Harvey could have just used her beak, but okay. So these are the constants. That makes sense. Okay, it's like sh worse Sudoku. So this has to be what this is. Okay, and if this is what this has to be, the maggot can't go here or here, so it has to go here. So the flies have to go here. Uh, they got two flies. So the fly can't go here, but it couldn't go here. And then that's three here. No, but that can't be it either, so. So try this. Ah, here's another, uh, has to be one, so. Fly has to go here and here. This has to be a fly. This has to be a fly. Uh, these can both be flies. This cannot be a fly. This should be a fly. No, that can't be right. I think... No. Hmm. Also, this has too many maggots. Let's just reset this. Yeah, it turns out I'm only good at... Arithmetic-based puzzles. Or... Just clicking on things aimlessly. Okay, so this has to be this. And this... It doesn't have to be this, but... This has to be this. So this has to be this. This has to be this. 
So that has to be that. Both of these have to be flies. That has to be a maggot. This has to be a maggot. These both have to be flies. Uh, these two have to be flies because there's one, two, three. Which means this and this. These have to be this. It's one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. This has to be a fly, so that has to be that. And this has to be this. This is insightful commentary I'm doing right now. <laughs> that has to be that. Fly. Alright. Got some fireflies. Have I... Close my eyes and 10,000 fireflies? Uh, fall to me when I'm asleep? Is that what it is? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> nope. I like the level design in this one because they have to make everything smaller. You're telling me the song, so it's... 16th, 8th, and 16th. Oh, do I have to... Lighted match, and then we can smoke the salmon. Okay. We have to listen closer to the bird. Uh, 16th, 8th, 16th, 8th, or that's a 16th. Okay. So, starts with that. No. Okay, so those two... So, that... Mm. I'm kinda surprised that worked the first time. <laughs> Pigeon friend is gone. Oh. No, we need the safety pin there to tie on. Ah! <laughs> Achievement unlocked, you died. Oh, okay. We got that. And throw some fireflies at it. And we got a black cube. Congratulations, you completed cube escape Harvey's box. Did you find all the achievements? No. Cause I don't know what these are. But wait, okay, so having played Rusty Lake Hotel, there is a miss- like a Mrs. Pigeon. And at the end it's implied like you kill them and then they get transformed into like the creatures and they kind of become memories and the last and the guy one who attacked us he kind of had w or it kind of had wings so i'm wondering if that was like the pigeon or if it's just like a coincidence let me, i don't know i feel like it's not a completely out there theory let me know what you think if you think that makes sense, or if I'm an- Or if, you know, I'm a crazy person and it's like, no. 
Sometimes a pigeon's just a pigeon, okay? Blue. In which all case, I'll have to concede, because <laughs> sometimes a pigeon is just a pigeon. But yeah, let me know what you think of the game, like it if you like it. I'll see you guys next time.